It's Saturday morning and I've begun my eastward push. I'm currently camped at the Flagler Recreation Area in Flagler, Colorado. And it's kind of like a, a picnic area slash wilderness area that overlooks some mud. All right, I'm currently in Flagler, Colorado, and I want to get to Lancaster, Pennsylvania. And that is 22 hours, 22 minutes, and just over 1,500 miles. My goal is to get to Lancaster by Friday, by the end of the week, where I'll edit and publish this week's episode. And I think maybe four to six hours of driving per day. Uh, that's bite-sized chunks of driving, give me a chance to collect some experiences, see new places. Cross-country drives are always a little bit tiring, a little bit ambitious, but uh, I'll get there. Uh, for now, just gonna get this coffee done and get the show on the road. Saturday afternoon. I made my way across most of Kansas and making a run for the border. The big box meals from Taco Bell are the best values you can get on the road. They're usually about $5 to $6, and they're just filled with the best food that's bad for you that you can get. I'm done with Taco Bell, and now I'm finding a place to camp for the night. I'm trying to keep it uh, close to the interstate, so come morning I can just get right back on track and keep pushing east. It's Thursday night, and I'm camped at the Geary State Fishing, Lake, and Wildlife area south of Junction City, Kansas. So I'm in eastern Kansas. I spent about five hours driving today, and I'm already a little fatigued. However, I did make reservations at a Lancaster, Pennsylvania campground for Cole and I to spend this coming weekend at. So I just have to keep my eye on the ball and keep working my way east. Aside from getting this truck back to New Jersey, to see my 15-year-old son Cole is one of my biggest motivating factors for going back east. Um, it's, about, it's been about three months since I've seen him last, and I'm excited to spend some time with him. I'm eastbound in central Missouri, about 150 miles from St. Louis, and I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to spend the night tonight. There isn't a lot of public lands, national forests, or anything that I can find online in the St. Louis area. So I want to do a couple more hours of driving, but I'm kind of scratching my head on this one. I think the answer is Mark Twain National Forest, which 
shortens up my drive a little bit today because that's before that's still in Missouri before I get to St. Louis. But uh, I'll just double up my travel time tomorrow. Nice. I can fill my roto packs. I don't have my roto packs. They're in Denver. But it's nice to know where water is. Nice campsite. Got a shower already. I'm really happy that it's warm out. You know how I was stressing as I was driving towards St. Louis and I wasn't sure where I was going to spend the night? Well, I found this great campground in Missouri in Mark Twain National Forest. And it's funny because everything just kind of falls into place. Everything has a way of working out. That's why I encourage you guys to just go. You don't have to have all your I's dotted and all your T's crossed before you set off. Just be as prepared as you can, be proactive, do your research, and everything falls into place. Let's take a moment to look at what I've got going on on Gaia GPS. You can see our track logs from all the way back from March when uh, we started in Pennsylvania and then worked our way west. We saw a lot of Nevada, Utah, and Colorado. I think that when uh, I pick up my Jeep in Denver, it's gonna be time to push north into like Idaho, Montana, and Wyoming. A lot of these waypoints that you see are miscellaneous, like gas stations and Taco Bells. Um, but a good number of them are campsites. And whenever there's a campsite, I add a description. This is a nice campsite, accommodates a few vehicles. It's a wooded area. And then that is the data that I make available to my Patreon subscribers. So if you follow me on Patreon, uh, you have the opportunity to download where I've been uh, in GPX format on Dropbox. It's another day, Monday morning. Going to push from Missouri into Illinois today. I'm in Illinois on I-64 East, and I'm looking to camp in Indiana tonight, somewhere along the Ohio River maybe. I'm in Indiana in Hoosier National Forest looking for a place to spend the night. This is Buzzard Roost in Hoosier National Forest in eastern Indiana. Uh, it's a very clean, well tended to campsite and I have it all to myself. We are here and this is the Ohio River. 
a nice bench overlooking the Ohio River. This is so much better than that bench back there. That's the Ohio River, and beyond that is Kentucky. This isn't anything you haven't seen before. Uh, since I'm traveling light, this isn't my vehicle. I'm not keeping the fridge as well stocked as I usually do. I'm just making another plain old grilled cheese sandwich. Bon Appetit. My next rig will have an onboard stove and sink. It's after lunch on Tuesday afternoon and I am on I-64 East in central Kentucky. I'm making pretty good time going through Kentucky so I think I'm going to stop in about an hour and search for a campsite in Daniel Boone National Forest. So far during my eastward travels I've been pretty fortunate as far as campsites go. Um, I'm in the northern end of Daniel Boone National Forest in Kentucky and I found this I found this spot it's flat it's next to the water but it's kind of a high traffic area um, this wasn't the first campsite I encountered but it was the first one that was available I'm not too enthusiastic about it there's trash there's a whole abandoned tent I mean, there's a pair of discarded underwear here. I guess I get it. Sometimes you just really don't want your underwear anymore. I'm going to make the best of this campsite tonight. Um, pack out what I can in the morning and keep rolling. I'm not thrilled though. I've been living in the Tacoma for well over a week now and there's this floodlight on the roof that it looked to be wired but I couldn't find a switch for it anywhere. I finally messaged Rin at OK Four Wheel Drive and he told me that there's a little gray remote for it. And I found it. Ever since I found the remote I can't stop playing with the light. It's like, oh I hear a deer. It's Wednesday morning, 7 a.m. in Kentucky, and last night at around 11 p.m., I heard a car and a couple got out. I heard some shuffling, 
And apparently someone came to get this old tent that had been here. I thought for sure it was trash. Although they didn't take everything. I'm still very surprised. I was about to haul this out this morning. I'm glad I don't have to. in West Virginia and I'm on my way to familiar territory. Should get there around 1 or 2 p.m. Gonna get a burrito. You've likely seen me here in one of my previous episodes. I couldn't help but to stop here. Uh, it's Davis, West Virginia, Hellbender Burritos. It's one of my favorite places. I'm probably going to enable crawl control, which is kind of loud in Tacoma. So if you hear weirdness, that's what it is. to fit I think so
So I've been here before. This is the Canaan Loop near Davis, West Virginia, and it's one of my favorite places. It was on my way back to Lancaster, so I came here because I knew there were technical trails, beautiful scenery, I can't forget about the burritos, and the remainder of my experience with the Kaya Camper is going to be a little bit subdued when I return to Pennsylvania. This campfire isn't having it. Everything here is soaked. Apparently it rained a whole lot. Thursday morning and it's gonna make coffee and keep pushing east. Pennsylvania welcomes you. Welcome to Pennsylvania. Storage unit. What am I doing? I don't even know. Okay, so storage unit. I swapped out some clothing, I picked up my checkbook because I didn't have paper checks and I occasionally need paper checks. Uh, I picked up more business cards and an enormous yellow duffel bag that I can put stuff in for my uh, flight back to Denver. It's Thursday afternoon, and I'm at High Point Vista Scenic Overlook near Wrightsville, Pennsylvania. Lancaster is just to my east, right across the river, and I'm going to call that a wrap for this week. It's been a long week, covered a lot of ground, and to be honest, I'm a little bit homesick. Um, the truck has been a phenomenal experience, and it's been an adventure all in itself, but it's not mine. It's not the place where I feel safe and comfortable, so I'm excited to get back home to my orange metal box. As usual, thank you guys for following along, and I'll catch up with you next Friday.